So, some of our last videos. I think our last one we left off with was uh, the pins. You notice that one's a little bit of a different style. There's not much to say about the pins video except they're, they're pins. Uh, today, I thought we would discuss set 14 in the old world style. And this was Limbo. And I created this with Dan Walters, my partner. And what you're seeing in front of you is a background that we thought would be kind of interesting for Limbo. Um, it's kind of a starry night, just kind of an ethereal space. So let's get started. Limbo is filled with lots of floating islands and bridges. We've got, as you saw there, the scroll edges. We've got some great shadows to put underneath, if you want to put some shadows underneath. And we've got some otherworldly plants, giant mushrooms. Yeah, let's shrink that down just one. There we go. Mostly in reds and uh, blue tones. We've got some sand tiles. We've got lots of kind of fortress pieces. Some biomechanical. Some observatories. The flaming castle. And just a large variety of things for you to play with in this set. So let's get started here. Let's do some islands. Now right here what we've done is we've actually bought this uh, in tiled. We've brought in this uh, backdrop as an image layer. And you've seen us do that on several videos. You just go to new and then your image layer in here. You would click layer properties and down here on this side, this is the three dots is where you would collect where you would go for your uh, file. So we've brought ours in. So let's start. We're going to go ahead and go up here and I'm going to add a tile layer. And let's put in, let's just put in some different islands. Now, as we've discussed before, we'll discuss it again. If you're in a tile layer, um, a difference between tile and the object layer is that in the tile layer, you cannot uh, layer in the same layer. If you do, what happens is the object gets replaced with the new tile. So what we've got to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to erase that. And in order to put this to kind of layer over that, what we have to do is we have to go up and add one more tile layer. So now we can have two floating island layers and I can kind of place them floating one on top of each other. I can go back and here we are. And we added a little small one up here and one up here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to add an object layer. So go up in the box, right click, new object layer, and let's grab some of these smaller ones, kind of place them around. As you recall, we have our select tile and our place tile, our insert tile. We're going to click on that so I can float a few pieces. I'm going to change that one and flip it horizontally, click on. And we're just going to kind of place some things. So I'm going to name these. Floating Island Small. And I'm just going to name these real quick. Bear with me. So now I have my three layers here. I'm going to go ahead and lock those. And if I want to, I could bring in some of these shadows that we have here. But I really don't feel, eh, I don't think we really need it today. Let's go on. 
let's get some buildings going on. All right, so above this layer, I'm going to go ahead and add an object layer. And we're in place. And let's make a little palace. As you can see, you just keep adding on however you'd like. Now you could do this in multiple object layers to help the layering effect even more. Let's say we got some floating bits right up here. And let's add I'm going to go ahead and do another tile layer. See if I can do this in a tile layer. Oh, I can. Oh, I'm going to put you right on the edge. Perfect. And I know I have some real bridges. Might be in the first one. Yep, there they are. I'm going to add some real bridges in between. Oops, stretch that just slightly. Click it again. And now we can add a few more. We're going to go ahead and duplicate that. Bring it down. Right click, flip it horizontally. And let's bring it in. Click one more time to rotate. And now we've got several kind of meandering bridges that go to some of our other islands. And what are we going to add? Let's do a little observatory. And this is part of set 14. Just a wonderful series of objects to let you play. I'm going to start this realm on fire here. I mean, it's limbo. Anything goes in limbo. Go back up here. Kind of maybe put this kind of biomechanical one here. The beauty of a lot of these sets is that you can just create what you'd like. There is no right or wrong. I'm just going to turn that. As you can see, Tile makes it really easy. Oh, we've got to delete that. we got to add, looks like we've got to add one more object layer. There we go. That's much better. And put this attached to the side. Maybe something going down. And there's a couple bridges going from here. Right click. Now you don't just have to use Limbo with this background. You can use the floating island. You could create your own tile sheet with uh, different floating islands for placing on your existing maps. Uh, in one of our upcoming videos, we're going to be doing just that. We're going to actually take all of our sets once we've had a chance to review each one uh, and just start creating maps. We're going to use them together. And oh, hey, like that. Let's do some smoke. Fire. It's so hot, hot, hot. Hey. And we'll do a little kind of tense here. 
Maybe we've got an army up here. A commanding tent. Maybe an exploratory mission. All I can express with this gang is that there's just a lot of things to play with. And let yourself go. The beautiful part about Limbo is that there are no rules. So I can have little floating minaret towers here and everything. I can have... I can put one on top. I can have... Oh, I have signal fires. I can have a signal fire here. So basically, as you can see, I've created several different little mini realms within Limbo, connected by loose bridges or not. A little separate here. I guess we could put a bridge there, couldn't we? Do we want to put one there? You feel like it? I feel like it. Da, 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 da. I get that sound going through my head now. You know what? This is actually like an antenna. But I think we're going to use it as a chain. You just bring it down. You duplicate till we connect. And there we go. And we have another island tethered by chains. Thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to uh, seeing you for the next video. Uh, happy mapping!